All right, today on Reviews and Things, we are going to unbox a brand new iPhone XR. 64 gig in bright red, really pretty. I unboxed uh, one already. And actually, if you wanna see what kind of a job the video camera does, we're shooting this video with the first iPhone that I unboxed. So as usual, we have this nice, sturdy, fancy Apple box that everything comes in really cool and exciting. Got the big Apple logo on the side. And in here, of course, we have all the Apple propaganda in that nice little sleeve. We've got some decals, pretty cool. And all kinds of things about the user guide, where you can find it and whatnot. And a, a little quick, uh, um, a little quick start guide for you. And then, of course, that. And there it is. It's got a little speck of dust on it, so we'll get that off of there. Pretty cool, huh? Right in there, all of our stuff falls out. Always need a wall charger. That's always good to have. Can always use another cable because I buy those cheap big cables those real long ones on amazon you know for like three for ten bucks or whatever but they don't seem to last more than about you know four to six weeks it's very frustrating those seem to last a lot longer and of course we have our buds can't have too many of those i think i've got about 10 sets so we have our protective screen on here get rid of that and that sticks to everything and so there it is, there's our iPhone. So let's get her turned on here. And there's the, the Apple. So we just hit what, what amounts to be the Siri button. So that, that gets it going for us. And uh, we'll just wait for it to call up a little bit here. Um, I've also got, uh, I bought a, uh, a cheap case, but it's not exactly cheap at uh, $40. So we'll take a look at that later. I just got it to protect it initially. So I'll go out and get a, one that I really like later on. But while I was, I actually picked this up at the store after ordering it online. And uh, yeah, I just picked that up real quick. Um, so we go through all of our different languages of saying hello. As you'll notice with the XR, like the new uh, X series, there's no home button. That's gone. So a swipe up is what amounts to be with the old home button. I speak English, kind of. Um, so we take that. Uh, United States is up quick. Um, I don't have, my old iPhone does not run iOS 11. So this quick start thing is not going to work for me, unfortunately. Um, as you can see, my, my original one, my old one, doesn't have any service on it any longer, but it is connected to Wi-Fi. So if you're lucky enough, uh, I have a, this one is a five, so I'm, you know, I'm five generations behind at this point. So this is pretty cool for me to have this. Um, so we'll set her up manually. Here's my, uh, my, um, my Wi-Fi. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hide it from you for a second so I can get uh, connected to my Wi-Fi. Um, and we'll wait for a connection. And okay, I'm on my Wi-Fi now. So it's going to take a little while for this to activate completely. And so we'll be right back. All right. Well, uh, it went ahead and, uh, and kind of set itself up. So uh, data privacy and all that kind of thing, you know, privacy is a big deal nowadays. So we'll just continue through there. Now we're going to do Face ID. So this is pretty cool. These uh, The new iPhones have uh, facial recognition, so you don't have to go through and punching your code all the time. So we're going to set that up and we're going to continue. So the way that it works is it wants to see the different features of your face. And so you tilt your head kind of around in a circle to fill in this circle. And then it'll record the, the features of your face and um, 
you'll be able to simply pick the iPhone up and it will look at you and it'll say, yeah, there's my, got my guy. And then it'll open. If it's not you, then it will, it will ask you to punch in the actual code. So let's get started here. And I'm going to kind of going to move my head around. Got that one little space there. So we have to do this a couple of different times. And kind of move your head around. Starting to get it. Follow the arrow and it'll... Uh, Okay, we're getting it. Oh, yeah, there we go. Second one. And that sets it up. What do you know? I'm going to uh, create a passcode. So, like, for instance, my wife or my one of my nephews or somebody can get in without using the face, uh, facial recognition. So I'm going to screen it away from you guys for now. And I'm going to put in... Um, I know my five was a five-digit number this one apparently is six so i'm gonna come up with that it asks twice just to make sure you get it right and that's it now we come to apps and data hopefully you have uh, when you took your your old phone you backed up or you have it automatically back up all the time so I'm going to uh, restore it from an iCloud uh, backup. And again, I'm going to move the phone away and I'm going to enter my information right quick here for my Apple ID. And um, it's a nice big screen, a nice LED screen. So it's a lot easier to see than like my old iPhone. And I'm just going to punch in my password for my Apple um, iCloud. Signed in. I forgot I changed my password, so it took me a little bit there. And now I have asked for a verification code which I'm going to punch in now. Um, and I got it on my old phone. So we punch in that verification code that we get via text message. And wait for it to recognize the machine. So I got this uh, this new iPhone, the XR, from uh, AT&T, and I got it as part of the BOGO plan, the, 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 um, the buy one, give one program. This phone would normally retail for about $750, um, but with the BOGO, you buy one and basically get one for free. Um, it's a really good deal if you need two phones, which, which my household did. And uh, we got like the basic data plan, which is uh, three gig per month. Um, we run our phones on Wi-Fi mostly, so we didn't need a whole lot of data. Um, you know, if, if you're running just off your phone, you're probably going to have to take one of their, you know, more expensive plans with more data. But um, it's not, not too bad of a deal. We have that code in. That took a while, so I went away. Uh, we have the terms and conditions. They'll send it by uh, by email if you like. Nobody ever reads any of this stuff. So we'll go ahead and agree to that. And then at this stage, um, it uh, we're setting up our, our Apple ID. And uh, we'll cut away and come back when we're ready. All right, we've set up our Apple ID. We're all set up now. Um, this is a, the stage uh, whereby you choose which backup you want to make. Um, I backed up my old iPhone 5 this morning, and um, I also backed up uh, my other uh, iPhone 5, which is the one um, 
the new one, which is taking the, uh, the this video right now. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that one. And um, so now we're going to get all of our settings from our old backup. So it's kind of nice just to have this done automatically. I'm sure you're all familiar with how to do that. And so we'll continue. Uh, yeah, keep it up to date. You know, tell me when there's a new iOS and... You know, uh, that's really a good a good thing to do because you have to keep um, you have to keep this uh, this always updated. Um, makes a big difference with all the uh, uh, apps you may have and making it secure and everything like that. I didn't set up uh, the wallet on the other one with Apple Pay. Um, it's something I'm I'm going to do. I've just never used it and I've never set it up, but I, I'll set that up later. It's a good idea. And then, of course, we have Siri. Um, first Apple product I've had that, that has Siri, which uh, we'll go through and do that. So you can see that it's asking me to say, hey, Siri, hey, Siri. And it's going to go through this several times. Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, it's me. So that's it. Uh, the Siri button is over here on the side, so you you uh, depress that and, and hold it for a second or so, and uh, then Siri will come up, and you can ask her basically everything. You've probably all seen that before. Um, this one I, I I set up on the other phone, the other XR, um, which is to get uh, weekly reports and insights about like the screen time. And you can set limits for apps. You can also go in and if uh, if you have children, um, you can set up the parental controls through this. So I'm going to go ahead and set that up. Uh, the app analytics, eh, I don't know. I don't think so. They, they've got plenty of information. <laughs> I don't think they need any more from my phones. Um, uh, True Tone I used on the, on the first XR. I'm going to go ahead and use it on this one. I used the Zoom on the other phone, and I think I will too. I'm almost 60 years old. The old uh, the eyes are not, are, aren't seeing what they used to, so the icons are larger. It's just kind of a focused, zoomed-in screen. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and, and do that. But of course, in settings, you could you could switch that back. And then we'll just hit next to get to our next menu. Um, I was thinking about buying a, a set of. Uh, of the wireless um, headphones. I was speaking to a guy at the AT&T store when I picked this up and he said that he has never heard anybody who liked the wireless. They only love them as supposedly a fantastic product. $150, uh, you know, we'll find out about that. We'll see. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and enter my password again here in secret. Hopefully I enter the correct one this time. And then um, and then it will begin to restore uh, from iCloud the uh, the last backup that I did on this phone. So again, we'll go away for now and let this uh, let this go ahead and do its thing. We'll be back in a few minutes. We went through the process. It rebooted itself, and uh, so now it's back saying hello in all different kinds of languages. And um, we swipe up, and then I'm going to enter my new passcode. Um, which um, I can't remember. <laughs> All right. The restore was uh, complete and successful, and now we're going to continue the process. Um, we're going to set up our Apple ID once again. So we'll see what happens after this. All right, so it's all set up. Um, it kind of goes through a little quick tutorial. The big thing is now it, it no longer has the home button that the older uh, versions have. It has the swipe up, which they, they're showing you. Um, it also shows you how to uh, switch between the apps. Again, there's no home button. So switching between the apps, you just kind of basically slide up a little bit and then kind of hold it, and then they'll come up like different tiles. 
pretty cool. I really like the fact they don't have the home button any longer. Um, obviously, it gives you a lot more screen. Here's the difference in the screens from the old 5 to the new XR. And, of course, the uh, Max is even a little bit larger. I had heard from the guy at the AT&T store that the biggest selling item in the in the store right now is this XR. It's actually outpacing the... Uh, uh, the 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 real the Mac Daddy one, which is which is the Max, and it also shows that if you if you swipe down from the upper right, you can access the old uh, controls that you used to get when you swiped from the uh, from the bottom. And then, of course, like we said, this is the Siri button, and you can ask Siri on on this. Welcome to iPhone, wonderful sweep up, and. Um, it actually takes everything from my old phone, which is uh, the 1969 Plymouth Barracuda, which was my uh, my tile before. And right now, at this point, um, I'm going to use uh, sharing with the uh, the other XR. And now we're just sitting here. All of my apps are downloading um, from uh, from my old phone, from my backup that I did. So we're going to go ahead and let those go. That's going to take a while. And um, after that, the phone's basically ready to be used. So that does it for the unboxing. Um, I will do a review on this phone in about a month after I have a chance to go over it and take a look at it. I'll also do a review on the AT&T service, see how, it, how it's working. Um, please like and, and, uh, and subscribe to our channel, Reviews and Things. We do a lot of reviews of, uh, we'll do muscle cars, we do a lot of electronics. I'm even going to do a review on the Hamilton play that I saw in Chicago. And so uh, like and subscribe so that you can, uh, you can uh, keep abreast of what we're doing. And that's about it for now. Thanks a lot. I did want to mention um, before we go is uh, while these are downloading, I did buy this case at uh at the t-mobile store i was gonna say it's, it was just a cheap case to get uh 40 bucks not too sure if that's cheap or not um i did get the clear because i wanted to be able to see this this nice red phone that that uh that i have now and um i think what i'm gonna do is uh, i'll just have it for now um it's not too bad it seems like it's pretty sturdy it's got kind of a uh, a grain surface on the inside. Um, it should protect um, the uh, the frame of the phone at least. And um, it simply snaps in. No problem. Siri wants to know if, uh, <laughs> if we want a user, which we don't want to right now. But it's just something to have for now. And I'll see if I find something less expensive or something that I like better. We'll see, but it's kind of cool because if you get a red phone or an orange phone or a yellow phone or whatever color you get, um, eh, you know, you might want to see it. So there you go. Um, that's about it for now. Again, like and subscribe because I'll be doing a, a full review on this after I get to use it for a little while, maybe a month or so. And so like and subscribe so that you uh, um, that you can see all of our new videos that come out. Thanks a lot.